Hey, future nurses. Welcome back. We will be covering a critical cardiovascular case on aortic stenosis and heart failure. This is a high-yield topic for the NCLEX. Can you spot which orders the nurse should question? Let's begin. A 56-year-old patient with severe aortic stenosis and heart failure is admitted with syncope and dyspnea on exertion. The nurse is reviewing the orders and must determine which ones should be questioned. Let's review our choices. IV fluid bolus of 1 liter normal saline. Administer nitroglycerin for chest pain. Place the patient in high Fowler's position. Monitor for pulses paradoxus. Obtain a 12 lead ECG. Take a moment, think about it, and comment your answer below before we reveal the correct choices. Time's up. The correct answers are A and B. IV fluids and nitroglycerin should be questioned. Let's break it down. Option A is incorrect. Aortic stenosis results in fixed cardiac output, meaning the heart cannot compensate for sudden volume increases. A large fluid bolus can lead to pulmonary edema and worsen dyspnea. Option B is also incorrect because patients with aortic stenosis depend on preload to maintain cardiac output. Nitroglycerin is a potent vasodilator that can cause sudden hypotension, syncope, and even shock in these patients. High Fowler's position is appropriate. This improves breathing and reduces pulmonary congestion. No contraindication in aortic stenosis. Monitoring for pulses paradoxus is irrelevant. Pulses paradoxus is a sign of cardiac tamponade, not aortic stenosis. Obtaining a 12-lead ECG is always needed. Aortic stenosis can cause ischemia, arrhythmias, and left ventricular hypertrophy. An ECG is essential to assess for complications. How did you do? Drop a comment below if these explanations helped. Share this video with a fellow nursing student. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications for more NCLEX practice. See you in the next video.